the crew worldwide From Kali to Twitter Real hardcore fans Boxing ass niggas Consistency cops Police the views We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose Shout outs to Clan Arky for the dope production Ring gang stay with the best discussions yes. Ring gang Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, it's shit's real. We talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the New England representer. And as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do? Gold Artist, LB, lot of Del Boss, Shot of Worth, the Soul Wars creator, Ring Gang, Radio.com. And y'all, don't forget, y'all five star this podcast <laughs> on Podomatic. <laughs> Word up and follow us on that shit too, you know, and follow us Word. on every other social media because, you know, we out there YouTube, you know, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, we out there, man. So, yeah, you know, five star, subscribe, check, whatever you gotta do just to make sure that you, you know, that you leave your mark on whatever you listen to. Just do that, you know, and we, we appreciate it very much. <laughs> and last but not least, Yes, and then I got my other man with me. I'm let him introduce himself. What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy P, King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxing in the building. Let's get it. Hey, Bodega Boxing in the house. That's what it Niggas is. He just had the, the commercial before he got introduced. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Niggas cut the whole intro in half. <laughs> oh yeah, so so we got Sam Well um on we could wax your car. Um, um <laughs> it slides right off. Um look look at it right here. Shit, Pat we come through. Shit, Shirt we rolled up like yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got gotten like a sponsor or some shit. Like someone to sponsor us. As I said, as I said, that sound bite. <laughs> for real, for real. You know, uh, low key. You know, y'all, y'all, y'all hear us out there. <laughs> I know, right? You know, so, um, so yeah, man. We, so we got some. You know, we got some cars this weekend. Wasn't like you know, last weekend was quiet. You know, like I said, you know, which was you know, which is nothing. It's nothing wrong with a little quiet from boxing every now and then. You know, I actually was constructive. Actually, no, I wasn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, spent, I, I, went, I went to the movies to watch it, and then the next day I watched it for like eight hours. So, um, yeah, I was not productive. I wasn't productive at all yesterday, but I paid the cost to be the boss. Yeah. So uh, I could do that. But uh, anyways, yes, you know, this weekend we have, uh, you know, we have a card. You know, we have three cards uh, starting with um, Friday. You know, it's, it's always it's always uh, it's always a treat to have uh, cards on Friday. Um, sometimes, you know, um, you know, go back to the days of Friday night fights, and you know, when it was on the air, or whatnot, and no longer on the air. And occasionally, we do get a showbox card, but those aren't there. So we got a card from DAZN, you know, headlined by uh, you know Devin Haney, you know, which is uh, you know Devin Haney before we making his second appearance. On you know on a DAZN card where previously this summer he bodied his opponent on a, on, you know on a on probably the still probably the best knockout I've seen this whole year so far. Oh yeah, down yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah. We had some brutal knockouts, you know. Yeah, when whenever you have a year where you don't have great fights, you usually have great knockouts instead. Yeah, and this year has been loaded with them. You yeah. Know? yeah, and Devin Haney's was just absolutely ridiculous. Like that was, a, I mean, I, that was that was one where I, I was like, somebody called nine one one while I was watching on the yeah. screen from my, from my parents' home. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, I mean, yeah, that was a straight body. I mean, dude, I mean, dude was cool, and then he was not cool <laughs> after that shot. Yeah, <laughs> shit like that. You know, Devin Haney definitely on his way to becoming a star. You know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you Devin just gotta Haney. keep at it. Yeah, you know, and right now, I mean, he's the main event. He'll be facing someone we have not seen before, but you, like I said, you can never really sleep on him. You know, sleep on people, you know, from, you know, the European countries and whatnot. Zar Abdullayev. Now, if we, you know, we're, we're familiar with an Abdullayev from, you know, from the previous decade. You know, uh, was it Muhammad Abdullayev? I don't think they're related, but, you know, that name is not. Yeah. Know, uh, the guy who beat Kodo in the amateurs and then. Got beat by Kodo in the pros. Pros, yeah. But, you know, Kodo wasn't the one who took his zero. I mean, he lost to a uh, 
one of the Claudies wasn't Joshua Clay, but a different Claudie. Emmanuel Claudie. Yeah, Emmanuel Claudie. Yeah, because I remember yeah. he got knocked down, but he didn't understand the English to get up before ten and <laughs> counted them out. Oh yeah, damn, damn! Wow, you brought it back. Yeah, I brought that shit. Nigga, away. like you. We, we, I don't know if we should even do Forgotten Phase no more. You know, I know, you know, niggas biting. I mean, we <laughs> yeah, might just do, 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 start just doing random fades because, yeah, that was random. That was, yeah, that was random as fuck. Nigga yeah. beat me to it like shitty. We ain't even warm up. He already busting out randoms. Like, gee. Yeah. <laughs> that's my thing, nigga. Shit. Yeah, th- yeah, that is your thing, you know, but sometimes, you know, some, yeah, sometimes, you know, we all can do that. You know what I'm saying? Because we all <laughs> We're all, we're, all, we're all deep in this boxing shit. And you know, that's real talk. King so, yeah. people bust out with one next. Yeah, right? <laughs> so, I mean, for real, no, I've done, I mean, I've seen videos and I, I, I you know, I took, YouTube is a wonderful tool, by the way. It's, you know, we'll, we'll talk, talk about YouTube and boxing on a later podcast. So, I mean, basically, I mean, he, he punches pretty hard. You know, he seems to be, uh, I mean, he basically, I think he's, he's like he's straight up and down, six o'clock type of fight. I mean, no frills, no type of spells fight. You know, he punches hard and he boxes. He boxes well. So it'll be interesting, I guess, to see what type of contest he will provide for Devin Haney, who is, who can use his legs, who, who's very, diff- who's responsible defensively, and as we find out, can punch when he wants to. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes he uses legs a little too much, but you know he's a good attacking type of fighter. I love yeah. his offense. You know, yeah, his offense. I mean, his offense. I mean, is very Mayweather esque. You know, obviously because he spent a lot of time with the Mayweathers. You know, you know as he developed in this uh, as he developed in this boxing game. So I mean, if, if the only complaint I would say about him is sometimes he's too cute with his offense. You know, I mean. If you if you do more like I mean he I mean obviously he clearly can do knockouts like the Moran fight. I think because I think is he he he's stagnating a little. He needs to fight people who are a little more dangerous. Right. I was just gonna say that. I was just gonna say that he's getting cute because he knows that his opponent doesn't really have anything for him. Put him yeah. against a guy that has that's a live dog that's mm-hmm. coming to win and can beat him. He's not gonna do that. Right, yeah. And this yeah. is this is what we also mean when me and PJ talk about the differences between, you know, good names and, you know, threats. You know, right. Haney, you know, right now we know he could probably bag some good names, but we want to, you know, we don't want to, we don't want him to go down the Crawford path of just beating accomplished guys eventually. You know, we want him. We want to see if he could beat some threats, you know, and, and the earlier the better, you know, he, right now he getting cued and shit, like, nah, nigga, like, step that shit up, you know, hopefully, you know, Friday, he in there with somebody who, you know, raises a threat level. <laughs> exactly, I mean, like I said, I mean, Abdullah is, like, he's 11-0 with seven knockouts, I mean, he actually, I mean, Abdullah actually has a name on this record, you know, our, you know, our friend Hank Lundy, who, I was just gonna say, Lundy. Yeah, you know, who we decision, who you decision, like, I think, either last year or a couple of years ago, something like that, you know. But, you know, that's a London fight. I mean, that's, I mean, uh, other than that, like, we can't really, like I said, I've done this kind yeah, of, I mean, I would have to watch it to really draw something from it. Yeah, you know, but uh, even more interesting about that fight, it's, you know, there's an interim belt on the line, you know, the WBC and its infinite wisdom. Is like you know what we're gonna make this yeah. interim lightweight title, even though there is an actual WBC lightweight champion. And his name is Vasil Lomachenko. Oh, yeah. man. Another GameStop belt, another fucking Brandsmart belt, Intercontinental I mean, Dunkin' Donut belt. Now, I mean, um, it's, it's unfortunate. Like this, this, this has to be done because, like I said, I mean, there's a lot of situations. I mean, because. Haney is high on the WBC lightweight rating. No matter, that nigga ain't no champ off of this fight, man. Like this is a bullshit. No, he's not a fight. No, but it's either it's either because I mean usually interim is only should be done only if the reign champion is like out for an extended period of time, like how it used to be. Yeah. Keyword 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 should. Right, but <laughs> we we all we all know they got to get their end somehow. Yeah, get right. some think, bullshit. You know, I think IBF is probably the only sanctioned body that actually does the interims right because it's very rare that they do it. And when they do do it, 
usually there's they, they actually end up as being one champion at some point or you know the other champion is gone <laughs> you know but um yeah i mean i guess this is i guess this is a way i guess if you know if haney wins to try to force a fight with Lomachenko, which he's not getting yeah, no, yeah, Bob is already, you know, Bob Aram, Uncle Bob is already on his BS about that. You know? It's too early, though. Like, Haney ain't even got a big enough name. Yep, but, 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 I will say this, as I've said this before, and I've talked to TJ about this, I believe that he, right now, he's very seasoned, but I believe he has the tools that if he was seasoned, he could beat Lomachenko. Hell yeah, see, Luke Campbell had the tools to beat Lomachenko, so he right. definitely fits in there. I don't know if I pick him; it'd probably be a fifty-fifty. If he was seasoned, I'd pick him. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, he's very. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know how to. I mean, he's he's twenty-two fights in, you know, and I mean, he, yeah, but he, ain't no fucking if. I mean, we talking about the nigga beat him. Yes. <laughs> I mean, when we think, I mean, it's not he's a spring chicken at all. I mean, he's yeah. 30, so that's the thing. Like, the, I mean, their, their, their peaks are going to, oh, they're not, they're never going to meet at their peak, but they can meet at near their best. You know, that's because I mean, Lomachenko is probably maybe three years away max from losing his prime, depending if he keeps fucking around. Nah, with he, he, look, Lomachenko take one more tough fight, and I don't think he's going to take a tough fight right away. Mm. He shouldn't like define you know, tough. Define tough. <laughs> tough meaning a stylistic matchup where there's a threat, where there's a there's an offensive threat. Because you could say Because you could say Komei is, is Kome is a threat. threat. Like Kome Col- Kome definitely a threat, but we know that fight's not going to happen right away. Although it's and and it could be Lopez if that if that fight happens. Right, exactly. So we don't know, but both of those guys are legit threats to me. I wouldn't say, like, Lomachenko, I don't think, I think he needs to fight one more time before he fights the winner of that fight. Mm-hmm. But I would say he should fight, like, God forbid, Craw- Crawler. <laughs> no. But, like, He's you know, somebody that. better than him, but not not a bad style matchup, like a guy like how Linares and Luke Campbell are. Mm. I don't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to go into a Lopez Kami fight off of a tough ass fight. I mean, it depends. On, I mean, it's fine. How you fight tough? I mean, it depends, of course, how Kami or Lopez look. You know, by the end of this year, after they fight, you know. Yeah, yeah. Of course, there's a lot of you know. It's just you know hearsay. You know, a lot of lot of ifs and whats, wases and coulds and shoulds. I mean, personally, like I said, I mean, I, I think Haney should, I mean, Haney, uh, Haney, after this fight, if he wins in a way that's like the Moran fight or whatever, I I, I, I I was thinking like, hey, throw him in the ring with Lomachenko. Yes, I mean, if if Crawler can get a fucking fight, look, they, yeah. Devin Haney should. Man, you know, they was, it's a different type of fight. They, they fed Crawler to him. Like, Haney, yeah. like, <laughs> I, I would really like to see Haney in there with somebody, you know, you know, like a decent. Yeah, the thing is though, because he has a, a real high, test. He has a high ranking. That's the, that's the problem. You know, yeah. he's not like he's not like. He's six so it's seven. like someone, but that's the thing. I don't think he's going. I mean, I would love to see a Lomachenko fight with him. So that that'd be a good fight. But I just don't think it's a big fight yet. Like, right. But I just think it's it's either that or he's gonna hold that interim belt until either Lomachenko decides okay he doesn't need that belt anymore. Or Bob makes Lomachenko drop the belt. In that case, and, and, I, and I would really hate to see Haney win. His, win. That would be stupid. That would be fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. Because it, it defeats the purpose of him unifying, getting all the belts. Like, you know, if it comes to it, like if he has to fight Haney, like, shit, make the fight. Fuck it. Like, because yeah, the, the thing is, it ain't like Lomachenko got a lot of, you know, buzzing names around him to fight. Like, it's either. Kami uh, Lopez winner, you know, Tank. I don't think that's gonna happen. Or Haney. Haney seemed like he wants to work though. So yeah, and, you know, yeah, he need to have an impressive performance, and he need to talk, you know, mad cash shit, <laughs> and, and throw shots at Lomachenko and, and, and get that fight, you know, kind of marinating a little bit. Right. I feel like both. I feel like that fight. 
is like maybe a fight away from both guys. Yeah. Like I can see Haney fighting again one more time, and I can see Lomachenko fighting again one more time, and then whatever whatever fight just come up, either a Haney, uh, Haney or Lopez uh, Kami winner. And shit, I wouldn't mind either either fight. Yeah, I agree. You know, yeah, but it's just like, I mean, otherwise, I just don't want to say a fight that would be like it mar well it marinated too long and bam, and then something fucks it up. You know, yeah, yeah, and, I don't, and, I don't and Haney deserves to win a belt, not in, not not because he's interim champion. All of a sudden, you know, the you know the actual champion either gives it up or not, because it's just like that's dumb. Uh, I, uh, that's just like stupid to me. Um, but you know, but it is for a belt. You know, it's an, and uh, yeah, you know, we hope that Devin Haney puts on a show. Um, the rest of the card, I mean, has a good has a good supporting cast. You know, on the women's side, you have Amanda Serrano. AKA, you know, Peace Crush. You know, I mean, P loves Amanda Serrano. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> yes, you know, and then she will be facing Heather Hardy. Um, you know, and that when I mean Serrano's is a beast right now. Heather Hardy, she's good, but she's not a beast. So I mean who knows? We we may yeah. who knows we may, we may levels. Yeah, we may either we may get a serious fate, or we may just get something that we got with the Katie Taylor fight, pursuit fight of um about was it three three months ago, give or take. You know? I hope we get that that type of fight, but yeah, man, I, 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 I don't feel like Serrano's gonna fight. make it make it that type of fight. No, so I think Serrano's gonna try to get rid of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I that would be great game. if she does. Like, because <laughs> I can see you know boxing lesson out of that fight too. Right, right, right. Of course, you know, and uh, yeah. I mean, I would love to see it, and, but it should, whatever it is, I mean, because Heather Hardy is still undefeated. You know, I think it's before. Yeah, yeah, yo, Heather Hardy can rumble. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, she can. Yeah. She can yeah, fight. I, I, but yeah, Serrano, she can, she can fight. I think. I think no, Serrano can box and has, fight. Yeah, I think. I think Serrano will definitely edge it out, but I think it's gonna be. I think they're both gonna bring. I think it's gonna be a save. Yeah, yeah so I, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, it's good to see women that really scrap and, you know, hand out them fades. It's good to see that. Yeah, so, so maybe, you know, they can start making, you know, higher wages on these fades. Yes, exactly. Because women, if, you know, if they, if, if they, if they're able to hand out them fades, you got to pay them more. You know, there shouldn't be any pay inequality or anything like that. This is 2019. Women can fight just as, just as, uh, just as good as men, you know, on occasion. They, you know? They've been doing it. Shit. They've been I mean, doing it, yeah. You know, they need to get promoted and, you know, and when they do get the, the fights, they need to, you know, put on a good fight, so, you know. Yeah, exactly, because I remember I was, because uh, um, yesterday I was just, I was watching a whole bunch of Amanda Serrano videos, you know, just just, just to get like, a real feel of how she's going to, you know, how she might end, like fight a Heather Hardy. And one of the things she, she mentioned is like for one of her championship victories, she only got like a thousand dollar purse. I'm like, that's crazy to me yeah that's and, that's and, horrible yeah and i remember too that was like i mean that's what she said she, you know that's why that's why most of these women boxers before they that's why they go to mma they dabble in mma because mma they pay better you know and this so i think that's this is why serena of course ended up in the zone because like the zone made you know dollars made sense so that's good you know yeah. So, I mean, you know. Yeah, because uh, if boxing truly going to grow, this, if there's all this damn money niggas just throwing around for boxing. Right. You know, I, I look at it like this. If the men are making so much more than the, the top earners in UFC, the women need to as well. Like, I, I don't get how the women make more in UFC and, you know, and, and both both have great fights, you know, and good matchups. Right. Exactly. So, you know, <laughs> something something needs to change. I, I'm all for you know equal rights and lefts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like I said, because women boxing can just be as, and also too they also need to change it so they fight three three minute rounds too. But it's a, that's a different conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I like to see that as well. But I do feel like you know if you if you doing your thing, two minute rounds, you know you could do some damage in some fucking two minute rounds. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I'm just being honest because a lot of times, like sometimes when you know we used to spar and you know you you sparring against someone who's a um 
you know, novice or someone you kind of level them up and shit, you know, a lot of times you'll let them work for two minutes or two and a half minutes and, you know, let them get off their shots. Right. You know, shout out to my nigga PJ. He know what I'm talking about. Hey. And in the last minute of the round or the last 30 seconds, you kind of turn it up and you start, you know, going at it. Mm-hmm. You, you, you know, therefore, you know, they get a little confidence and shit. So I feel like now, now what if you didn't damn um, take off a fucking minute? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So now, what if they getting off for a minute, then you get off for a minute? Or what if you don't and they just both, y'all both go at it? So. That's how I look at it. <laughs> exactly. That's an interesting outtake. You know, but I, I completely agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because if you work in the body and and landing landing how you supposed to, <laughs> you gonna you should be able to get them out there in either two or three minutes. If exactly. you hurt, if you have them hurt, it's gonna carry over to the next round. <laughs> Facts. Facts. So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You know. Yeah, and then Amanda Serrano, I mean, she's 36. She has, she has 27 knockouts in her 36 wins. So she can punch. She she punches. Yeah. I mean, she can, you know, so, I mean, she's stopped, like, you know, her last, like, eight of her last 10 opponents, some, something crazy like that. You know, so. Um, but Hardy, yeah. Hardy's tough, and she undefeated. Yeah. I don't so, yeah. know if she's just going to just, you know, lay down and die like that, but we'll we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll definitely see. And Damn, then it's crazy how we could talk. We almost sound like we have more enthusiasm for this fight than the damn Haney fight, which is not really true. Like, like it's just because I mean, Heather Hardy, Serrano, you know, say, you know, I mean, in terms, I mean, Heather Hardy's, I mean, she's her name has been known because she's she's fought on. Okay, of, so what what would be the male version of this fight? Shit, nigga. I mean, that would be that would be like someone who's basically on TV, but not necessarily in a main event role. Like, um, <laughs> that, no, you talking about a pound for pound legend, whatever, going against someone who's undefeated? Oh, hold on, I, we already that was Pacquiao Thurman. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then we have a final. Uh, we have a final card. Uh, final, no, I wouldn't say the final support um, support fight. We have Michael Hunter, son of one of the legendary heavyweight spoilers, Mike the Bounty Hunter. Dude was dude was one of my favorite fighters. You know, because dude would make you look silly and could punch. And he'll be facing uh, Sergey Kuzman. Um, to me, this particular fight is Michael Hunter's fight to win. I'm not high on Sergey Kuzman at all, at all. Um, in fact, because I think there, I think there was the fight. Um, who, I think he fought. Uh, who did he fight? I saw at um, Turning Stone that I thought he should have lost. Um, um, that uh, was it. That Joey DeWaco guy. Um, you know the short, the short guy that was supposed to that was supposed to face um, um, Gassia in Texas before Gassia screwed up his shoulder. Uh, the one that everyone said knocked out Anthony Joshua in sparring. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You know, and I actually, and I actually thought he's been lost to that guy. I mean, he he won a majority decision, but he didn't look good. And uh, Michael Hunter, and he, I mean, uh, so this guy, Michael Hunter, took a beating that probably would have um, dissuaded. Any fighter from really continuing their career or have serious looking enough because when he fought up uh, Usyk on HBO a couple of years ago, and he wasn't doing too bad, but Usyk turned into Super Usyk and basically beat, beat him senseless in the second half of the fight, almost to the point of a a, a brutal stoppage and possibly nearly killing the guy. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, but Hunter, you know, he's uh, you know, he made. A comeback off that you know he came back from that and you know he got some heavyweight wins um last time out i think he, he was on the handy card and he scored a you know he scored a two-round knockout over his, some italian cat and then of course you know he fought Alexander ustinov you know everyone pretty much knocks out and he knocked about a nine so um yeah i mean this i mean this, i mean a win like a good win over a fellow 
B level, C level prospect, whatever you want to call Kuzman, will probably, because they're both on the, uh, he's undefeated, will probably go a long way, especially if it's a highlight real variety. So, um, you know, we'll, I mean, we'll see. Like, like I said, I mean, that fight, I'm guaranteed it should not go the distance. That fight's going to be a fade. If it's not a fade, that means somebody, you know, somebody's water got tampered with or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, for that card, I mean, there's, there's supposed to be a fourth one. Daniel Ramon's supposed to be on that card. You know, Daniel Ramon, you know, his, uh, his, um, his uh, fights with Matrooms, the one in October, and then his last time out, you know, was a fight of the year against CJ Del Haney. You know, I was looking forward to seeing him on this card, but he screwed up his shoulder. So that fight, we're going to have to wait to see on, a, on another occasion, you know, but um, you, you still got a solid card to watch, you know, and, you know, on paper, you know, say, I mean, it's possible that you may get some, you may get some stuff that may pop off, you know, we're still looking forward for it, uh, forward to it though. Yeah, it's, it's decent. Yeah. You know, I mean, like yeah, Friday you, night, you know. Or Friday night, exactly. You ain't know. doing that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I mean, Friday night, you know, keeps me out of trouble. This, this, which is what I'm pointing to, to be out and about. Because, you know, when I'm left on my own device without boxing on, you know, I get into things. <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, boxing on Friday, hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> So, there 